Oh no, I have a test tomorrow. I didn't study. No, school. Did I even get a textbook? Did I buy it? Oh no, my teacher's really hot. I need to study. I don't have any pens. Kiss myself. What's the one job? I said after some. I don't know if I have a rubric. Oh no, I remembered. I'm gonna ha I gotta have a test tomorrow. No. Psych. I'm not even in school anymore. I graduated. But I've been getting this request so much. So I thought, what the hey? I'll do it. So without further ado, Dissy Parents and School. So I'm about to go into my school stories from when I was just a young little chap. Wee little boy growing up all through my school. Seriously, why do we keep showing this picture? Prepare to laugh at my misery, and yours too, because we're all in this together. together. First things first is the comparison lecture. Every time I would be studying in my room, my mom would always find the need to come in and just linger by the door. I knew something was coming up because she had this sad, almost borderline angry look on her face. And I knew exactly what that meant. School game. It's good. Friends. It's good. Teachers can do that. Also good. The marks. 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 Uh, it's good. Getting 80s. Acha 80. The baki 20 percent. 80 plus 20 100 on there. The a 100 ni bade. The baki 20 percent kithe. Ek pura munda. Ode 90 percent number on there. But you knew for a fact that Tinku's kid skipped class, started a cute little high school game, and sold dime bags to get those Beats by Dre headphones. He was a loser! But you couldn't tell her that. Oh, mommy, he sells drugs! <laughs> Said my mom after ripping on me for half an hour straight. And every time I'd be studying, my dad would always creep up on me, even in the most randomest places, just to check to see if I was actually studying. Yeah, no, yes, I am. But like, how? Why did you go from being my dad to being Spider Sing? I always dreaded the first days of school when I was younger because my mom would dress me up in random 80s India clothes that were so ugly and made absolutely no sense. Oh look, we're brothers that are matching. Yay! No one's gonna make fun of us at school at all. <laughs> and I hated lunchtime because my mom would always pack the most basic lunches. Other kids got like Dunkaroos, Fruit Loops, Pizza Pockets. Then there would be me. Mom, what are Fruit Loops? Fruit? Roti, dog, they, that as soon as you open the lid, the aromas would just instantly begin to fill up the room. Now, I in no way am undermining Indian food, okay? I love it. But like, come on, man. How are you going to explain this shit to white kids? Oh, dude, what is that, man? It looks like shit, bro. Is that food? Is that your people's, like, guys' food? Uh, do you guys like eat like stuff that looks like shit usually or what is that like dead skunk or like rice? Yo, can I try some? Oh, oh it's yeah. sick, yo. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's gross, man. How do you guys even eat that? Oh, <laughs> dude, what the f- You eat it every day? <laughs> Not even that, my clothes always reek of darka. Some kids straight up didn't even want to associate with me. Yo, bro, can I borrow a pen? Yeah, absolutely, sure, man. Here you go. Yeah, just throw it over to me, bro. What? Yeah, bro, just toss it over. No, what are you doing? Just take the pen. Yeah, just like throw it over. No, just take it. Let's just spill it over! And then you had no friends except for that other kid in school that also smelled exactly like darka. Then one faithful day, thank the Lord, I had came home to see a savior installing a majestic item in my kitchen. And the, then the life was never the same. But remember my buddy, Stenchpreet? He wasn't so happy about this ordeal. What is the smell? Uh, what do you mean? It smells like an animal to me. 
Did you install a ventilation shaft in your house? No, of course not. Don't, don't be ridiculous. You did. Didn't you? How could you? It's a lie. How could you do this to me? Your nose is lying to you. After all the time we spent together being stench buds? How did you have to do it? You were the chosen one. You were like a brother to me. I loved you. You were the chosen one. Bringing home the report card was the most stressful. It doesn't matter how great you'd have done that semester. Your parents would always find that one place where you done slipped. Worse. What's this? Behavior that are good me? Good me? Good me? What's the problem, man? Hmm? Do you classroom? Cool guy? You're doing kurtutia in the classroom? Huh? No, I just... Shut up! Aj to baad. TV baad, computer baad, phone baad, mummy baad, daddy baad, friend baad, classroom baad, khana baad, pina baad, sleeping baad, waking baad, bahar jana baad, andar aana baad, ghar de vich rehna baad, dujiyan de ghar de vich rehna oh vi baad. That's breathing baad, manna baad, jeevna baad, everything baad, studying baad. What? what is the problem you have? Look at Tenku son, man. He's doing a great job. He sells drugs at school. I don't give a shit, man. At least the behavior good in school. Never loved us. What happened was I would sometimes just blame the teacher and I would just straight up call them racist. I know that's a terrible and very evil thing to do, but sometimes they were racist. Damn you, Mr. Glorin. But then I just became addicted to that excuse and it just spiraled out of control. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. Which one teacher you are? English. Do you teach my son? Which one is your son? Which one the bloody hell you think is my son, huh? How is my son doing school? He's uh, above average. What is like, is that 90%, 100%? Nah, he's uh, 80. 80? That's no good, why he's not 100? You know I'm from Canada from 20 past 25 years I've been here. Look how great my English is. Do you think my daughter teach my son English? He should be number one. That's bullshit. You're racist to my people. I'm going to file a report to the principal. She's going to come fire me. I never have to deal with this in Canada. I've been here past 25 years. I'm so mad. My mustache is falling off. You bullshit. Go to hell this school. Some situations it didn't even make any sense. The absolute worst was when relatives came over and the parents started to compare all their kids like the homies used to compare Pokemon cars. I'm a advanced program. I'm a doctor. 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 I'm a i Suits on it, did a hard inspector. May I have be hurry? May I have you keep her on a Hasra kids and Yana Mundaj? He's twenty two. Keep the rapid work, Kerpoj. I stand the daddy Nikolai. Prime Minister Harper named a potanovi letter of recommendation page. Oh, can the two space programs like a space program here? Oh, bomb it upon as you can a puppy, uh, Mundaj. Here, Munupatan is a pichon, Obamine, up in Ponka, Marcel, like Munubai Pona, Marston, P, Kendipi, Gurmibot, and Mummy, Maja put the Wapsi, a carriera. Is he like Gavis, he tied the back and a duck your move away? I'm not this hard to think at ya. It is some rude phone card there. Grassi Kadi show up Nikarida. Then out of nowhere, this uncle would just start throwing up random pop quizzes. What the two plus two, Kihonda? Put the four divide three. Come on, put the. Shetty das de horn. Do this and look like a talent show, ya bish. Hey, how about one minus one? You equals get out of my house. Ha! Burn! Bottom line is, my school days, even though there were sometimes a nightmare, I'm glad my parents did care about me. And trust me, when you'll get older, you're gonna miss all the nagging, the hassling, and the lectures that you constantly got on a daily b I'm sorry, I couldn't say that with a straight face. Okay, bye.
Thanks so much for watching. You know what the deal is. You want to watch the main channel video, click the big icon. Also, check out my buddy, Rupin, who plays the mom in this beautiful series. He's got a channel as well, so go check him out and subscribe there as well. The link's to the right. And if you have a topic to suggest for the Daisy Parent series, put them in the comments below and I might do it. Okay, and do subscribe because I visit my subscribers at least once in their lifetime and watch them sleep overnight so you definitely want to be a part of that thank you very much goodbye